We're more used to heading north with Unfiltered on our distillery visits, but on this occasion we've come to Galloway in the southwest of Scotland. It's pretty far off the beaten track in the world of whisky, but with the reopening of Bladuch Distillery, it's very much back on the map. That's thanks to Australian entrepreneur David Pryor, who bought the distillery in 2015. To realise the dream of running spirit again, he turned to whisky industry veteran Ian McMillan, a man who clearly relishes a challenge. The refurbishment was uh, virtually what it was. It was a, a total removal of all the uh, redundant uh, apparatus, which virtually none of it was fit for purpose. It gave us the opportunity to bring the buildings back to just a shell and then redesign uh, the new distillery within that and then fabricate and install that, which uh, made the process a lot quicker. Within just two years, Spirit was running again through Bladnock stills. It now has the capacity to produce one and a half million litres of whisky a year, mostly in a traditional lowland style, but with the promise of a heavily peated spirit in the future. Bladnock uh, had pretty high production levels in the past and it was uh, it was a pretty crucial distillery in the days of the Arthur Bells and such and looking back at past production records there was a, a pretty good output here. You know, it was for the size of a distillery it was, it was churning out uh, 1.4 million litres of alcohol uh, on, on a regular basis and so it was obviously a crucial part of the Bells blend and other United Distillers blends in those days. So. Um, Re-establishing it uh, after it was unfortunately closed down in the early 90s and uh, bringing it back to life again was a, a great challenge for me but a, a, a real sense of achievement once it had all been completed to bring Bladnoff back to what it was always known before, it was the Queen of the Lowlands. And once its visitor centre is completed by early 2019, well worth the journey to see this distillery reborn.